Plenty to keep us busy, and uh, with that, we'll get to work. Thank you. I miss the people, of course. It's been an amazing, amazing experience interacting with everybody. Everybody's excited and, um, and is thoughtful and engaged in uh, interesting and substantive um, uh, discussions and questions and, and purposes. But I mean on the, the, the coding side. Yeah, but that'll be easy. But it's, it, it, oh, you it, have to it, have the language is what you're saying? Well, it'll make more sense if you do. People up and down the organization know the community, they know the issues, and uh, they are much more sophisticated and knowledgeable about uh, getting the job done, knowing what the job is. This is just not the same organization it was when I became chair, and it's definitely not the same organization uh, when I first got involved in 2002. We're much more grown up. What do you feel like is your biggest accomplishment in that time frame? It falls into a couple of different buckets. Uh, the things that everybody wants to talk about are the big things. Uh, the GTLD program, the transition, uh, externally visible things. Uh, and I think for me, the transition uh, is a big, big thing. I took a number of actions and I worked hard at trying to be helpful. And nonetheless, I can't take credit for the way it played out. Fadi and I think NTIA in particular, Larry Strickling, deserve a huge amount of credit. I've done a, a small set of changes to the way we operate that have actually been very important and aren't first of mind for anybody. We had a staggered board terms, people coming and going at odd times, and yet by simply deferring the seating and having everybody start at the same time at the AGM, it's amazing how much smoother it is and nobody's going to pay any attention because it's a problem that just doesn't occur. Right. So that's an example and there's a couple of more. Uh, like that. All those in favour, please raise your hands. I think that's a vote in favour as well. While I was on the board earlier, the board was in a contentious state, uh, not, not well functioning. What emerged was a kind of board within a board. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, one of the things that I was very definite about in my mind is that I wanted a much more inclusive operation. I wanted everybody to feel like, and you know, there's a bunch of egos and differences, experiences, so you can't do a perfect job, but I think we made a qualitative change and I hope it persists. What will you miss the most? A really talented, energized, diverse set of people in the community, on the board. The demographics that I staff are, are astonishing. Is one of the best educated and uh, culturally diverse and experienced set of people. I want to talk about you personally. Yeah. I've known you a number of years. I've never seen you happier or more ebullient than when your grandchild was born. Tell me about that. Children, and the younger they are, the more so, um, are full of energy and they're innocent and they're eager. They spend their time learning and their minds are at work and they're getting you know, control of their bodies and the growth process is amazing and so it's just a joy. And in our particular case, the only grandson that we have is just an epitome of that. Sam, Sam watch. Whoa, yay! He is just full of life. You know, it just brings a smile. You and Beth have an interesting relationship. She's an amazingly strong woman. I've noticed that. On our very first date, a blind date uh, many years ago, she was just engaging and uh, I was just instantly attracted to not only her quick wit and quick mind, but um, her total comfort. She's not a needy person uh, and it's just uh, pure joy. Our running joke is that we're on our second date. And, uh, you know, so it's been 40 odd years, uh, long second date. What's the one message you would like to leave to the community, the organization, your fellow board members? Focus on solving problems, getting to root causes. Focus on doing what's best for the community as opposed to short term goals or um, vested interests. Steve, I will miss you. We'll stay in touch.
Steve Foddy, welcome. It's very early Friday morning here in Singapore. ICANN 52 ended only about 12 hours ago. Steve, can you tell us, uh, did the airline lose your pants? Um, um, <coughs> so Brad, I'm glad you asked that question.